I loves me some good earbuds. Let's chat some hybrid in-ear monitors. The Eco OH-1 are a pro set featuring metal casing and a hybrid driver design. One balanced armature and one dynamic driver per ear to help with clarity and properly representing the frequency spectrum. This hybrid combination is proving to be a popular solution where balanced arms are articulate and detailed, but can sometimes have difficulty filling in that low frequency oomph. That's a technical term, you know, some recording jargon for you guys. The focus is definitely a bit more professional. The OH-1 come with a terrific durable braided cable, but out of the box, you won't find a microphone. These are monitors first and foremost, not necessarily a phone headset. Though that's not to say consumers won't enjoy them too. This build is excellent. I don't normally comment on earbud design much. I value function over form, and most inexpensive in-ear designs look fine but I really like this look. Blue metal tapers to a fine point. The, all the little pounded surfaces, like tiny little hammers dented their way through the casing. It's cool, I dig it. But that's enough about design. These are earbuds, so how do they sound? Again, there's a slightly more professional focus than in trying to impress consumers. We're listening for clarity and an even-handed representation of the audio you're monitoring. It's a subtle, very subtle dip in the mids, a very subtle rise around 3K, the OH-1 are rated to 40 kilohertz, but minimizing distortion by beginning that roll off around 10K. This shape suits me just fine, adding a little color, a little life, but not stomping on accuracy to get it. Were I still a location mixer, a sound specialist, field recorder, even just a boom mic operator, these earbuds are pretty easy to trust, that what you're capturing isn't getting overly hyped up before it actually gets to your ears. If you start to get used to monitoring hardware, consumer solutions start to sound a bit off when you're listening for your own entertainment. Compared to some of the multi-driver buds I've used recently, the OH-1 are gonna feel a bit cold or analytical, but I prefer that representation. Audio which might not impress the same, but it doesn't feel oversaturated. If you want something juicier or you want big skull rumble, these are not going to be the inner aurals for you. The more apt comparison might be against some buds like the Mi Audio M6 Pro, which I continue to use mostly for the custom molded tips. Now, the Eco achieve a clearer sound with better stereo soundstage, but both can get a bit harsh in the highs with an aggressive mix. The OH-1 deliver a nicer bass, in my opinion, but I like the mids a bit better on the M6. Personal preferences. I did have a small, personal issue though, and this kind of plays into isolation. This is the first pair of monitors I've ever worn that I could not get a good seal using the included silicone tips. No matter how I twisted, they just wouldn't seat properly. Everyone's ears are different, but this shape and the casing and the smooth metal, they just did not play well with my biology. The asterisk for this whole review is I had to use them with some comply foam tips, which really isn't a bad upgrade for anyone out there shopping some nice earbuds. Swapping that out, the OH-1 performed awesome. It's the impossible thing to know before you get a pair of buds, but it's always worth repeating that your mileage will vary. Eco sells directly on Amazon in North America, and right now they're priced at $139. I'm pleased with this price to performance ratio. Audio tech does not cycle as aggressively as computer tech or graphics, but it's kind of incredible to hear how far we've come from old Shure SEs or my old Noble switchable drivers. I'd much rather have the OH-1 with me on a gig than kit I spent a lot more money on several years ago. Not too shabby. As always, thanks so much for watching, sharing, subscribing, not just geeking out on fun headphones. There are more conversations we need to have about hearing health and digital health. If you'd like to help support production on this channel, please head over to somegadgetguy.com where you'll find a support banner with all of my current affiliates and partnerships, including my Patreon campaign where you can contribute directly and get access to my patron exclusive content. And of course, I'm gonna have some more audio reviews coming, so stay tuned. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at somegadgetguy on the Twitters, the Instagrams, and the Facebooks, and I will catch you all on the next review.